Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw Michael Myers versus Jason Voorhees. It's gonna be like a standoff image. Very, very simple, so stick around and you're gonna learn it as well. Um, otherwise, let's pretty much get started, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw Michael Myers on this side. Um, so I'm gonna start with kind of the slight curvature of his face a little bit. So I'm gonna start with a forehead, curve down. Pulling in. All right, for kind of like the brow. Pulling it out over here for the nose of the mask and then curving back in. Curve over here for kind of the back of the nostril area. Curve right here for the, you know, the actual nostril on the mask. Gonna go over here, up, down, curve for kind of the, the eye, that eye hole essentially that he has, the, uh, of the mask. And I'm gonna actually fill that in. So one of the coolest things I think is, uh, I really wish these guys were in a movie together because I, I heard, and let me know if somebody's heard this too. I heard through a podcast uh, that uh, Jason more or less took the idea of Michael Myers essentially and kind of ran with it. Um, because personally I like Jason a lot more. I don't know if, who you guys think is cooler or better. I think Jason is a lot cooler than Michael Myers. Um, and they're pretty much very similar down over here for the kind of upper lip area curve in go back line gonna go over here pull a line over here for the upper lip so originally uh it was a i believe it was a William Shatner mask, right? That they got the original uh, micro Michael Myers mask. It was a Star Trek Halloween mask that they just got spray painted it white for the movie. And that's how they kind of got that. I know it's a common fact, but in case you guys never heard it, that's what I had heard. Pulling down, down over here for the kind of front of the chin here. And it's gonna curve back over here for this part of the chin. Line over here. Something he has really distinct in his face is a uh, this cheekbone thing, which is, I guess, going toward the uh, William Shatner thing. He's got that cheekbone curve right there. Curve right here for kind of that cheekbone area. It's really pronounced. Line area for the lower lip. And let's go find the ear, because he does have the ear curve over here. And we can just kind of curve that jaw back here. Over here in this area, curve. Line, line, curve over here for the inner ear. And now I'm gonna go over here. His hairline is, you know, obviously it's a mask. So the hairline is gonna be just curve right here. He's like no sideburn at all. So I mean, you kind of draw a little bit, a little bit of a wiggly line right there. And let's draw a line down here for the neck area. And it's kind of loose because he is wearing a mask, but line over here and that's going to be he's wearing this mechanics outfit usually down over here more or less down his chest line back here for the back of the hair and he's got this funky big old crown of hair ish so i'm going to go over here zigzag the line a little bit as i'm going back and then i'm going to pull it down here Again, you're doing it in a side view. By the way, let me know in the comments who you think would win in a fight. If, if it's Jason, I'm sorry, yeah, if it's Jason or Michael, who do you think would actually win in a fight? Not who you think is cooler, because I think Jason is cooler. Uh, I mean, who do you think is going to fight? And obviously, it's going to vary per movie. I still think Jason would win in a fight, in my opinion. Even though these guys are both essentially like uh, very tough zombies, right? Okay, that's, well, right here, I'm going to throw little strands of hair. So I'm going to curve back, curve back. Curve back, 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 curve back. Line, line. There you go. Let's go on this side now. Now we're gonna go over how to draw Jason Voorhees over here on this side on the right, facing that direction, okay? So we're gonna make him pretty close, right? I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna try to find the curve of the mask, the front here for the nose. Down. Pulling up over here for the kind of the brow area. And then I'm gonna curve his flat hockey mask back. Gonna pull 
back over here for that side of the hockey mask and then pulling in downward there. Let's pull the chin back here. Line down here, made for the Adam's apple on him. And usually he's wearing like just, he's dressed like a homeless guy. So very similar in terms of the, 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 the wear essentially. Maybe a line over here for the jacket. And down here. Maybe a little bit over here for the side of the side of the, the, the collar there. Fi let's find the back of his head. Curve over here. Down over here. Down back here. Okay. We're gonna have his ear on this side. Curve right here for the inner ear. Line over here, and line around here. Let's go over here, line back for the mask that's being held right there, line, line. Out over here, down, and we're gonna draw a circle. Cool, cool, cool. There is a strap on the top of his head, so we can kinda do that there a little bit. And let's go into the eye, all right? Eye would be kinda like out, down, up. Curve over here, we're gonna fill that in. Line, line for that main stripe on his head on his eye there. Line over here down for the other one on the hockey mask. Curve line here for the back of the jaw a little bit. And the only thing we really have left now is we're gonna be the holes on his face, so. Circle, there's usually two in the front on this side as we can see them. And then we're gonna have uh, three over here on this side. And we have one over here, and then they're gonna, they're gonna go up. And then there's three over here. Very Swiss cheese-ish, honestly. And it's not, you know, super, you don't have to be like ultra insanely accurate with it. Um, and then if you really want to throw in a little bit more, you can throw a, a, draw like a thicker line around all of it. Over here. Maybe see like just a thick line around the outer edge of both these guys. And it's going to make them look both a little better in my opinion because it makes it look more like proper line art because proper line art in comic books tends to have that. Don't forget, by the way, hit the like button and absolutely hit the subscribe. Uh, when you subscribe, it uh, kind of lets you know when I post. I'm posting, uh, you know, it, it depends. The post stuff changes, but usually I'm posting at least once a day. So that's good to look forward to. And I'm trying to throw a lot of variety into the channel right now. I'm uh, kind of figuring out some other ideas, like giving you guys different, like I showed you guys my sketchbook, uh, what that looks like. Um, and I, I really try to uh, kind of give you guys a lot of value and stuff like that. And I'm trying to skew older as well. I'm trying to, you know, do more... Uh, content where people can, um, you know, uh, learn like all the basics of drawing if they need to. So, uh, so that, that is happening as well. Oops, it's easy. It's kind of moving around, but I want to thank you very much and happy Halloween and, uh, yeah, stay spooky, everybody. See you later.